Hi, my name is David Rubin. Today I'm going to talk about breath tests in the state of Maryland and what the penalties could be. It's important to know that when you get pulled over for a DUI, there's two different penalties or two different scenarios that are going to happen to you. One is you're going to go to court and you're going to have to face a judge in terms of what the penalties are, getting points on your license, perhaps going to jail depending on the severity of your DUI and whether or not you've had one before, whether you're going to get a fine, whether you're going to be required to do alcohol education. That's court. You always need a lawyer to represent you in court. And if you have any questions, you give me a call. We'll set up a consultation. I'll take care of it for you. But in this video, I want to explain to you that there's a whole separate part that you have to deal with when you get pulled over for a DUI, and that's called the administrative sanctions. When all of us get a driver's license in the state of Maryland, we sign some paperwork, and when we do that, we inherently promise to the MVA that if we get pulled over for a DUI, we're going to agree to take a breath test. Now, we're not required to take a breath test. We can refuse it if it's offered to us, or we can take it. But the way the Maryland MVA works is if you refuse the test, you're going to get much more severe penalties than you would if you take the test. That doesn't mean that you should or should not take the test. That depends on the circumstances. That depends on a lot of factors, how much you've had to drink that night, whether you've had a DUI before, whether this is your first or second or third time you've been pulled over and offered to take a test. But you ought to know that the penalties for taking a test, blowing between a .08 and .15, blowing more than a .15, and refusing a test are all different and they all need to be dealt with right away after you're pulled over. So if you've been pulled over for a DUI and your license has been taken from you, call me right away. I will explain to you what you need to do. I will meet with you in person. I will talk to you on the phone. You can fax me or email me your paperwork and I'll be happy to give you a free consultation. But time is of the essence when they take your license from you because the ability to drive obviously in Maryland for whoever is the most important thing and you need to talk to a lawyer right away so you can learn your rights.